Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you back this week and I'm even more excited to kind of switch up the background. I've had you guys in my room for the past few weeks and today I have you in my bathroom. It's not weird. Let's not make it weird. <laughs> We're just two girls hanging out and uh, we're just going to talk about skincare, okay? Because that's what you guys asked me for this week. You really wanted to know what I do um, during my nighttime skincare routine. And if you are here because you follow me on Instagram and my blog, then you probably already know that I have gone through or I, my skin has uh, sustained quite a bit of damage due to poor skincare practices. Um, so that in and of itself has really... Um, motivated me and encouraged me to be a lot more disciplined um, and regimented and educated about good skincare practices. So without further ado, let's jump into my nighttime skincare routine. All right, first and foremost, we need to get our hair out of our face, obviously. So to do that, I usually use one of two things. I will use um, my big velvet scrunchie from my hair collection with Scunzi that is currently at your local Walgreens um, and it is available through the end of March so don't let this collection pass you by these are amazing especially if you have thick hair I had two rows of 18 inch extensions about two months ago and this thing held up my huge messy bun with no problem that is a really huge accomplishment for a scrunchie so highly recommend this guy this is what i'm going to be using tonight all right so my hair is up and we are ready to begin with the first step in my nighttime skincare routine which is to cleanse and 99.9% .9 of the time I cleanse my skin not once but twice in the evening and that is super super important because for those of us who wear makeup even if it's not every day most days we have a lot to get off of our face before we can even cleanse our skin so that first cleanse is really with the aim of getting my makeup off um, for years and years from like high school all throughout college and in my early 20s i used makeup wipes to do that um, but now i'm really trying to be a little bit more conscious about the amount of waste that i'm contributing to the trash and to our environment so i am really trying to curb that um, i feel like it's super preventable so what i'm doing and have been doing for the last year and a half or so is using a cleansing balm this is an oil-based cleanser that's really going to help get all of that makeup off of your face and then once that is done then you can go in with more of like a cream or um, a gel cleanser and actually clean your skin with the aim of getting all of the the excess dirt and oil and stuff out of your pores your toner will also help with that but that is the goal of that gel or cream based cleanser so I have a couple recommendations for an oil based cleanser to get your makeup off if you are looking for um, some different ones so I, I think more often than not, I'm using Pharmacy's Green Clean. This is the one that I've probably used the longest that I, I find to just be a little step above the rest, I would say. I hate to, I hate to pick favorites because I feel like they all do the same thing, but I do feel like I have to grab less product and I feel like it really does get a lot of it off of my face without having to go in again um, with more product to get the rest off, if that makes sense. Um, so that is probably my favorite. I'm actually waiting for a new bottle to come in. These, I have two down here that are empty and I'm like, oh, okay, great. Um, and then I also love the Colleen Rothschild Cleansing Balm. Um, I absolutely love Colleen Rothschild skincare products. You guys heard me talk about them a lot last year. They were such a great partner to me and I really do love her skincare products so I cannot not recommend her cleansing balm. I cannot believe that I finally made it through the big jumbo cleansing balm of hers. Oh my gosh, that lasted me so long. And one of the great things about Colleen is she often offers really good discounts on her products. So highly recommend her. And then the last brand is Elemis. They have a pro collagen cleansing balm that I also very much love. I think this might have been the first one I ever used. Let's see if this is going to focus. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, so this is the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm and it does an amazing job and it probably smells the best out of the three. So they also run sales every so often. So I'll link all three of those down below. They're all at different price points. So hopefully you can snag one of those that is within your budget. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Elemis Cleansing Balm because it's the only one that I have right now out of the three and wash this makeup off of my face. And I'm going to try and set my camera to where you guys can kind of see it all in. Action. 
Okay, so first cleanse is done. As you can see, I obviously still have um, quite a bit of makeup around my eyes to take care of. The one I've been swearing by is Bare Minerals. They have a really great micellar water. Um, clearly, I'm loving it because I'm almost out. So all I do is just go in with one of these guys. These things are so handy because you literally just have to wash them over the weekend when you're doing your laundry and then you're set for the week. The pack that I have comes with 16 and I use two a night. So I always have like two left over if I happen to be super busy during the weekend and um, I don't get to my washing until Monday or my laundry. <sighs> when you date a Brit, I swear, you say some weird things sometimes. Um, <laughs> okay, so I've gotten the rest of my makeup off. All right, so now I'm gonna do my second cleanse and with the second cleanse, I either do one of two. I either do my Purifying Facial Cleanser by Tula, which if you follow me for a long time, you know this is one of my Ride or Die skincare products. Um, this is an amazing cleanser, it's super gentle, and it really does make your skin feel super, super clean. Um, I'm really aiming towards incorporating more clean beauty brands into my regimen and Tata Harper across the board. If you go on any kind of clean beauty um, reference site, Tata Harper is always included, and they literally have no strikes against them at least from what I found please don't break my heart and leave me a comment about how they're not as clean in the comments because I love them so much I personally love their regenerating cleanser it has a bit of an exfoliant within it so it is a like a daily exfoliating treatment I don't need this every single day and I don't think most people do unless you live in a like a big big city and your skin can handle it um, but I definitely don't think that most people need to exfoliate their skin every single day I usually do about three times a week and it just has a really great smell to it and it always leaves my skin just feeling super super squeaky clean so highly recommend this cleanser if you're looking for something with like an exfoliant in it so since I used that last night actually I'm gonna use my Tula purifying facial cleanser tonight it's my long-standing favorite I've used it for five years and Tula is always super kind um, to my readers they offer 15% off um, of their website with code Alice and Haley at checkout so be sure to take advantage of that if you have been a longtime lover of Tula and need to get some refills or you're curious about trying some new products if you are in need as I mentioned I've been using the Tula purifying facial cleanser for about five years now and there is a reason why they call this the cult classic of all Tula products with over 1,000 positive reviews on their website this product is one that you cannot miss if you are new to the Tula brand. This refreshing gel cleanser goes deep into your pores to remove impurities. But more than that, it is formulated with probiotics and superfoods and it helps to condition skin without stripping or over drying. I absolutely love how soft and smooth my skin feels after I'm done washing my face with this product. All right, step one is done, finally. I know step one is pretty long. Hope you're still with me here, but sometimes in order to get the best results, you really have to take the long road. <laughs> Sounds cliche, but it's it's kind of true and lots of different things in life, but also in skincare So the second step in my nighttime skincare routine is to tone your skin All right So applying a toner is basically like applying a very quick drying exfoliator to your skin It's going to pull out that dirt grit and grime that you didn't get with your cleanser And that's going to allow your pores to receive all the serums and the moisturizers that you put on from here on out um, in a bit of a better way because nothing is blocking it from getting down to that deep tissue down in your skin And I personally have two different ones that I use shocking. I don't use them at the same time I kind of go between the two based on what my skin needs So the first one that I want to recommend um, and this is not for everybody especially if you have Sensitive or blemished skin this one might not be the best for you, but I have been loving the um the toning solution with glycolic acid by The Ordinary. This product is amazing. I personally have a lot of 
dark spots and discoloration. That is something that I really struggle with. You can probably see here. This is partly what I went to get a laser treatment to treat. Um, and so right now I'm, I'm really trying to aim um, to use products that are going to facilitate lessening those problems on my skin over time, but you have to be really diligent when you're treating skincare problems. So this is one that I've been using about four times a week. The other one that I love is by Colleen Rothschild. It is the Matcha Tea Toner. So one thing that toners do is they help to grab that excess oil and they also help to reset your pH and balance out your skin. So that is something that this one does really, really well and I've been using it for over a year and highly recommend it as well. Okay, so toners are super simple to apply. All you're gonna do is just take another reusable cotton pad that is clean, apply some of the toner here, and then just work it into your skin gently, pressing it into your skin. And being careful of that eye area. As you can see, my skin is getting super red, but that's just because it's being exposed to product that is working. And that is all you do. So let's move on to step number three in my nighttime skincare routine. Step three, treat your skin based on what it needs. So this is the part of my nighttime skincare routine that I personally find to be the most fun, but I can also see how this is the part of a nighttime skincare routine that someone who's not as into skincare could potentially dread because this is when we start talking about um, products that will treat issues that your skin is dealing with and also um, serums, which there are so many. So it's difficult sometimes to figure out what serums are going to work best for you. And skincare can be expensive, so it, it also is a bit frustrating to feel like you're kind of like rolling the dice when you're, when you're purchasing some of these serums. So I'm gonna leave a list of my favorite serums linked down below in the description box, and what I'm gonna encourage you to do is just a little bit of homework, not, not too much, it won't take you too much time, but take a look and see what each of those serums do because I can almost guarantee that you will find a serum solution for a skincare problem that you're currently facing within that list. All right, so for me tonight, I'm gonna use a few different things to treat the skincare issues that I'm going through, um, one of which is just a little bit of acne right here. And actually, this is the first time I've broken out with acne in quite some time. I was actually really surprised to see it the other day. So what I'm gonna go in and use to treat this area tonight is a clear Clarifying Detox Mask by Colleen Rothschild. This is probably one of my favorite products to use when I am um, having a bit of a flare-up with acne. So I just take a little bit here and I'm gonna just put it on my skin right here. Sometimes I even sleep with this on my skin. I'm like, what should I do that tonight? <laughs> um, but no, so I'm gonna let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna brush my teeth. Let the boys out one last time before we go to bed and then i'm going to come back here and kind of do the next step all right so i have done that let's move on to serum so i'm actually going to be using a few different ones tonight um okay so these two serums were recommended to me by my nurse practitioner who does my laser treatments whenever it is that i feel like i need one thankfully i haven't had one in over i think a year and a half been quite some time but due to my travels last year I feel like I really fell off of being consistent with my SPF application so that is something that I am going to be so much better about this year because these dark spots for me are something that I will always struggle with because cells have memory um, and if I'm not good about it and if I'm not using serums like this um, then they will just keep coming back so these two are going to really help fight that issue that I'm always going to have so first one is the SkinCeuticals discoloration defense and this is really going to help lighten up those dark spots and make them less visible and then this is a Floritin CF serum this has a lot of vitamin C in it. This is actually the vitamin C product that my nurse practitioner recommended for me personally due to the um, the dark spots that I do have on my face. So these two are gonna kinda work together to help with that. Another serum I'm gonna apply tonight is rosehip oil. I actually feel like rosehip oil is one of those safe oils that is great for everyone. It is rich in vitamin A and really helps to um, fight against 
signs of aging like wrinkles and dark spots and it really just gets into those deep levels of your skin and helps to produce more collagen and just helps you look younger. So incorporating this into your nighttime skincare routine a few nights a week is highly, highly recommended. So I'm gonna use these and then we're gonna move on to step number four. So I usually do about two drops of each of them and then I rub them together in my hands to get my hands kind of warm. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press them into my skin They smell like vitamins, <laughs> but I guess that's how you know that they're packed with goodness, with good things. Your warm hands are going to warm up your skin and open up your pores, which are, remember, super, super cleaned out. So that really allows for your serums to penetrate more deeply into your skin layers and give you the best results. A skincare product that I personally love and that I think is amazing to use before you apply serums is a facial steamer. Um, I don't think it's something that everyone needs to run out and buy, but if you are super into skincare and you really are looking to see amazing results over the course of a few months, um, definitely use a facial steamer a few times a week to open up those pores really, really good and then apply your serums and your moisturizers and I can almost guarantee you're going to be like blown away because facial steamers are no joke. They are so fun. Okay, so those are on my skin. They have set and now I'm going to go in with this rosehip oil. This is 100% pure and natural and certified organic by the USDA. And I'm just going to do... I'm just going to be a little bit generous here. I love rosehip oil. I think it is so good for your skin. And again, I'm just going to get my hands warmed up and just press everything in to my skin. And this top is probably not the best for a nighttime skincare routine, but I chose it because it wasn't going to flash you guys. Um, and one thing that I highly recommend is, well, a couple of things. Wear a top where you can get to your décolleté because, or décolletage, however you say it, um, because I feel like anything that you put on your face, you should also be putting on your neck, um, because you don't want that skin to look different than your facial skin. So, highly recommend that. Not not working in my favor tonight, this top, but that's okay. Um, another thing that I recommend with serums is to pat everything into your skin, but also to kind of work in an upward motion, push up against gravity, because gravity is always working against us, and as we age and get older, we wanna try and fight it as much as we can. Although aging is a blessing, guys have to remember that. All right, that is step number three, so let's move on to my last step of my nighttime skincare routine. All right, step number four is moisturize before you go to bed. All right, so when it comes to a moisturizer, I, I have quite a few favorites. Um, I will leave them all linked down below. I'm not going to go through every single one of them like I did with my, my cleansing balms, but this is the one I'm going to use tonight, and this is the one that I've been loving lately um, by Drunk Elephant, the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. This stuff is amazing. It is super, super hydrating. It is thick, but not um, like pasty, if that makes sense. It is just whipped and beautiful, and it provides some really serious hydration. I highly, highly recommend it if you've never tried it. Um, actually, <laughs> before I do my moisturizer, I always do my eye cream, and I don't know why I almost forgot. Um, actually, it's because um, I'm not really supposed to be using retinol right now. And my eye serum has retinol in it. So I am going to just leave this here for you. But because of my laser treatment, I'm not supposed to use retinol. So I'm going to leave that link down below. It is a good one. So with moisturizer, you just want to make sure you're using upward sweeping strokes and really work it into your skin. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, my battery is dying. So I'm going to have to finish this up and sign off here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and also hit the notification bell so you can know when new videos hit my channel. If you would be so kind as to leave a comment below and let me know what skincare product you personally use all the time and love. I love 
looking into new skincare products that I am not currently familiar with. So leave that down below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!